you know, I, who, who in Sam Hell? I already know who, bruh. Though, the people who are running this campaign for Kamala Harris, you guys are tards. I mean, you are something wrong with you, man. Something is seriously wrong with you. You are tone deaf. It's got to be worth it being tone deaf. You, you, you know what? It don't matter what you are. I'm just gonna talk about you. Harris dating show style ad garners backlash. Now you got a problem with men in the Harris campaign. You got a problem specifically with black men in the campaign. And then somehow, some way, you comes up with this dumb idea. This dumb idea of a balloon popping ad. And whoever came up with this idea is an idiot. But I want you guys to see this ad now. There's this viral thing that's going on online where there's these dating kind of shows where a guy walks up and they have all these women and the women get to pop the balloon if they don't like the guy once he walks up. And so it empowers the women to pop the balloon because they're choosing who they want to date or who they want to be with. Never mind the fact that in the Bible it says that God made woman for man. So it's it's in it's an inversion of what God ordained it to be in the first place. So you ain't nobody chick you ain't choosing nobody, he's choosing you. And that's the problem with modern day society and dating. Feminism has gotten so far out of control that women are under the impression that they are, I'm choosing him. No, that's backwards. It's absolutely backwards. Your job is to be a good, beautiful, godly like woman so God can send a man to choose you. But it it, it everything about modern day society is upside down and everything that's upside down is what this campaign um, highlights it's insane what you see watch this watch the ad and it's only 15 seconds but it was a waste of Hello, ladies. I'm Trey. It's good to be here. What do you do and how much do you make? I work in finance, making six figures. How tall are you? Six five. Do you have any plans to vote in November? Nah, not my thing. Hello, ladies. I'm So, an attempt to weaponize black women against black men through social media. In my live stream earlier today, there was a sister that said, hey, you know, what, what do I do as a wife because my husband votes Democrat and I'm not a Democrat? And I told her, I said, the only thing you can do in that situation is really pray for him, ask that the Lord open his eyes and show him the truth, right? But when you look at what they promote, and I've said this a thousand times, nothing that these people do is hidden, is right in front of your face. So even their ads are sowing dissension into the black community. Now, this ad is to target college students, right? So basically it's saying, if you, and they didn't, they couldn't go as far as to say, do you plan on voting for Kamala? And if not, pop the balloon. So they just said, well, if you're not voting, we're going to pop the balloon. So what, is the, what does this symbolize? What does the whole, you know, dating thing symbolize? It's all about getting to the P. It's the power of the P. So what they're saying is, you know, this power of the P says you need to vote. It's not going to go as far as to say who you should vote for, but then they throw who you should vote for at the end. It's crazy. Just wep And it's what the Democrats have always done. They've weaponized our community, divided our community. It's what they've done. I'm sorry. It's good to be here. What do you do and how much do you make? I work in finance, making six figures. How tall are you? Six five. Do you have any plans to vote in November? Nah, not my thing. It's crazy. I mean, it's absolutely insane. Let me see if this one's different. Hello, ladies. I'm Trey. It's good to be here. Nope, what same 15 seconds. Watch this. Watch this. <laughs> and look at the comments. HP Green Cap. As always, black women wanting to keep black men down. Um, vote or no vote. Vote or no coochie for you is quite the sales pitch, deeply insulting the black man. I mean, that's what I got from it. How is this going to convince black men to vote? Uh, queer lips of truth. Queer, yeah, queer lips of truth. What? Okay. 
How is this going to con uh, convince black men to vote? This is insulting. They just keep getting everything wrong. And your geniuses wonder why she's got a black man problem or a male voter problem. Chosen one capital. It is just that simple. This is what a failing com campaign looks like. Greg Allen. I mean, it's and the craziest thing about this all is we're in an environment where you get immediate feedback. This is how prideful and stubborn these people are. Think about it. We're in an environment where you get immediate feedback on your ad. Why is the ad still up? Ask yourself that question. If I drop something and I get immediate negative feedback, I'm removing the damn thing. I'm taking it down. Why is it still up? Because they're prideful. Their children are pride. Uh, Cash Loren. It's hard to describe how cringe Kamala is, but I'll do my best. What men would watch, uh, what man would watch this and be persuaded to vote for Kamala Harris? But what's even stranger is that 65% of the money targets female voters. Who is Kamala Harris trying to blackmail with this video? Yeah, 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 yeah. We know who she's trying to blackmail. But it's insane, bro. I mean, it's pure on insanity. Pure insanity. While simultaneously she's going to black churches acting like, oh yeah, I give a damn about the black people. And you know the craziest thing is? If you looked at that church that we just saw in the video, I, I'm going I'm to take you back there. Hold on. Let me, let me go back there. Let me go history. Let me, let me go back. Let me go, let me go through my history real quick. Kamala Harris at New Birth Church. I want you to notice something. I want you to know. I want you to notice something. I want you to notice who's in this church. From the early. Shut up. Shut your trifling behind up. You gonna find that it's seven to one women in church in black churches. Man, oh, here we go. Perfect example. One dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen women. Thirteen black women. Man, let me. And I know y'all be saying, "DW, you tripped out. You tripping? Watch this. I'm, I'm gonna show you some more. Let's go to the full speech. They gonna have the full speech. I don't want to hear her voice because she gonna grieve the Holy Spirit. And I'm, I'm slide on through. Slide on through. Let me see if they gonna show the crowd. That's not enough of the crowd for me to be able to show you the point I'm making. This is her insulting the Catholic people. Well, Catholics are Christians, but Catholics. It, it's just the point I'm making is this. I mean, I'm not going to hunt it down. The point I'm making is this. They've always divided the black community. They're further dividing the black community. And having this witch in office is going to utterly decimate and destroy the black community and not only is it going to destroy that community it's going to destroy America as a whole it's going to destroy the Latino community it's already in the process of destroying the white community it's going to destroy the borders it's going to destroy this entire country better yet it's better to say it this way she will destroy the nation that's the best way to put it to encapsulate it all Nations being biblically being people, she will destroy the nation. It's her job to finish off the destruction of America. And it's going to come hard and it's going to come fast if people fall for this foolishness.